Hey, what's up guys? Dizzy Nuts here. How are you guys doing? So today we're at Magic Kingdom and we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to take pictures of the window display. Something that I don't see often. Now we're going to be doing it with a little secret weapon that I have. So uh, without further ado, let's go check out the window displays here on Magic Kingdom. Okay, without any doubt, the probably the best window displays here are the ones in the Emporium. And they have always a bunch of cool princess themed ones and a bunch of other characters. So uh, let's go check them out. Okay, here's Snow White with the gang. And the next one we got Cinderella with her prince. I think the kiss is about to happen here. Next one up is the Little Mermaid. The Sebastian and Flounder there and all the whole gang is here. For the health and safety of everyone, face coverings. The next window is from Beauty and the Beast. And we want it all time, except when actively eating or drinking while safe. The famous dance ballroom scene. Now, if you've been inside the restaurant, this scene is recreated awesomely down to the snow in the background. Thank you for your cooperation. The next one is the genie. With Aladdin and Jasmine doing their flight on the magic carpet over the city. The next is another favorite of mine, Pocahontas. Focus on the ones that have characters, not the ones that are merchandise um, for the photos. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and walk and complete this walk up Main Street and show you all the windows. Here's another one of the merchandise in the Clue Villains game. And yep, here's the door. This is the famous door that everybody posts uh, Instagram on and it's on the right hand side when you come up Main Street. Coming up on the next one which is the House of Magic. They also just showcase some merchandise. This is apparel for ladies. And distinctive attire for gents. Although, um, gents is for gentlemen, but I don't know if gentlemen will be using this stuff. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. And obviously here are the Starbucks. Not much stuff on the right hand side when you're coming up Main Street besides the shops. Because here you got uh, the Pandora shop, you got the confectionery, the jewelries, and all the other ones. So, uh, not much stuff here. Here's a cool one. Daisy. Making treats there in the back. The number one secret for taking photos when uh, you're talking about shooting through glass is actually making sure that light does not get into your uh, to your lens. And that is where we're going to be using a little device here that I got off of Amazon. It's probably a couple of bucks and it's this. Okay, and this what does is that you put it around the lens. This stretches. So again, there's two sizes that come for depending on the lens that you have. And what this will do, I'm going to put it over here at a lens like this. It will create a suction and actually not allow any light to come in. And it'll make the glass somewhat disappear when you take the photo. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the camera. And then we're going to try this also on the GoPro to see how the photos come out. But we're going to head over there to those windows over there and take some shots and see how they look. Okay, so we've gone ahead and taken the photos with the uh, with the regular DSLR. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and put this uh, 
this thing here on top of the GoPro because the GoPro obviously has a wider um, field of view and see how the photos come out. Now for the GoPro, what I am going to do is I'm going to put a timer of three seconds because the GoPro, you have to press the button on the top and I know what's going to happen as soon as I press the button, it's going to shake. So uh, let's go ahead and try taking some shots on the GoPro, putting the, uh, the cover, see how it looks. To be honest, with the GoPro, the photos didn't look bad at all, actually. I got more more inside the image, um, which was really cool. Now, different from the DSLR, I did have to put the GoPro literally flat on the window with the suction thing literally right there on the glass. But still, I think the photos look great. So uh, for stuff like that, something that is an extra wide angle is a must. Or if you got a GoPro, then use that as well. All right, so that's it here from Magic Kingdom. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this clip and you know, um, like I always tell people try different things experiment like this thing I just actually saw on a on Amazon and said well, let me go ahead and try it out and it's been a great asset to have So um, if you like stuff like that, I'm gonna put the link to the to what it is. I'm gonna put it right in the descriptions and uh, Check it out. Okay guys, so that's it here from Magic Kingdom. Thanks for watching My name is Dizzy Nuts and if you like these types of videos Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified of the future ones. So until then guys stay awesome. See ya. Bye